Captain Gravesy, but now Pamela Ballantyne with the Schools Quiz second semi-final. <laughs> semi-final of the Irish News 1990 Ulster Schools Quiz between Coleraine Academical Institution and St Patrick's Grammar School Armagh. Today's winning team will meet Larn Grammar School in next week's grand final where the winner will collect this silver trophy, over £3,000 worth of computer equipment and that fabulous three-day trip to Paris. So with everything to play for, let's meet today's teams. Representing Coleraine Academical Institution, Thomas Millen is studying the sciences, but he hopes to read law at university. His interests include sport and reading. Team captain Thomas Kerr is studying Latin, Greek and politics. He also hopes to read law and he enjoys playing rugby, indoor bowls and soccer. Alan Thomas is studying physics, chemistry, maths and German. He hopes to become a civil engineer and his hobbies are writing, rugby and hiking. Philip Johnson is studying French, German, physics and maths. He hopes to pursue his studies in electronic and electrical engineering and Philip is a keen canoeist. Representing St Patrick's Grammar School Armagh, Conal McSorley is studying English, political studies and economic history. He hopes to read law at university and he's the reigning debating champion. Team captain Ryan Nugent is studying further maths, computer studies and physics, so it's only natural that he hopes to pursue his computer studies at Oxford. Ryan's interests include quizzes and skiing. Michael Hughes is studying languages and music and he hopes for a career in broadcasting or journalism. He's interested in filmmaking. And Peter Murphy is studying maths, English and French. He's very interested in music. <laughs> well, you've met the teams, I'd now like you to meet Martin Goss. Martin is our referee and question setter. Martin, we had a very exciting first semi-final. Everything looks set for a good one today. We had indeed, as you rightly say, we had a tremendous first semi-final. And we have here today two very good teams. I think they're going to give us an equally good match. And we'll be very, very good finalists. Well, the only way to find out is to get straight on with the competition. Round one is very simply an individual round. One question for each individual member of the teams. And we start in Coleraine with Thomas M. Which animated film featured the song Bright Eyes? Watership Down. Correct, for two points. And to Armagh Connell, which film based on a Dickens novel featured the song Food, Glorious Food? Oliver. Correct. Thomas K. Coleraine, on which planet did Viking 1 and Viking 2 land in 1976? Mars. Correct, for two points. Armagh Ryan, what was mapped by a series of space probes between August 1966 and August 1967? The Dark Side of the Moon. Correct. Up to Coleraine, Alan. Blue Aran Victory, Cares Pink and King Edwards are all varieties of which vegetable? Potato. Correct. And Arma Michael, of which fruit are Ribston Pippin, Golden Delicious and Ellison's Orange all varieties? Apple. Correct. Coleraine, Philip. Which European country has a black, yellow and red flag and the motto L'Union fait la force, unity gives strength? Belgium. Correct. And finally, in this round, Armagh Peter. Which European country has a red and white flag with a black eagle and the national anthem, Land de Berge, Land am Strom, Land of Mountain, Land of Rivers? Austria. Austria, correct. So at the end of the first round, very, very good round indeed. Coleraine Academical Institution, full marks and eight points. St Patrick's Grammar School, Armagh, full marks, eight points. <laughs> way to start a semi-final. So let's get on to round two which is called Ask Us Another. Starting off with a buzzer question. Whichever team gets it right has four topics to choose from. They can answer them in order of preference. If they get a question wrong the round is over. If they get it right they get two points. If they get all four right they get an extra two points. So fingers in the buzzers teams your starter question. What is the name of the range of hills along the Anglo-Scottish border? Yes Armagh Ryan. The Cheviot. Correct for two points. Your topics, battles and war, famous women, Irishmen and geography. Geography, please. Geography. 
what can be defi defined as a long, narrow ridge of sand and gravel, which was once the bed of a stream flowing beneath a glacier and which was left when the ice melted. An esker? Correct. Two points. Battles and war, famous women or Irishmen? Irishmen. Irishmen. Whom did the London Times describe as scum condensed of Irish bog, ruffian, coward, demagogue? Give me an answer. Yeah. No, Daniel O'Connell. We'll move on for another starter question. Fingers on buzzers, buzzers both teams. What is ebony? <laughs> yes, that's uh, Coleraine and that's Tom's M. It's a kind of dark wood. It is. That's exactly what I've got in the card. Now, your topics, once again, are battles and war. Famous women, Irishmen, geography. Geography. Right, you may have geography to start. What can be defined as the temperature at which the atmosphere, being cooled, becomes saturated with water vapour? Dew point. Correct, for two points. Battles and war, famous women or Irishmen? Famous woman. Famous women. Who was the first woman to win a Nobel Prize? Marie Curie. Correct, for two points. Battles and war or Irishmen? Battles and war. Battles and war. <laughs> During which war was the Battle of Inkerman? Um, the war. No, it was the Crimean War. Oh. So that's the end of that round. Let's look at the scores now. St Patrick's Grammar School Armagh have 12. Coleraine Academical Institution have 14. <laughs> We're moving on to round three, which is called Who Am I? The identities of three people is what I'm looking for. I'll be giving five clues. The first clue is worth five points, the second four, and so on. It's open to all. Fingers on the buzzers. For five points, born in 1908, died in 1964, popular English writer. Yes, that's uh, R. Mark Connell. Bitumen? No. Lorraine Thomas K. Lewis Carroll? No, for four points. Educated at Eton and at the universities of Munich and Geneva. Armar Ryan. Fleming. Correct, for four points, Ian Fleming. <laughs> right, the second one. Fingers on buzzers, for five points. Born in 1732, died in 1809, a composer. Yes, Armar Ryan. Handel. No. Coleraine Thomas K. List. No, for four points. A choir boy in Vienna took a post with the Hungarian noble family. Yes, that's Armagh Connell. Mozart? No, I'll give the whole question up to Coleraine. Choir boy in Vienna took a post with the Hungarian noble family, Esther Hazy, from 1761 to 1790. <coughs> yes, Thomas K. Streis? No. Three points. Established his reputation with his symphonies. Oh, oh. Yes, that's Arma and Michael. Haydn. Correct, for three points. <laughs> and finally in this round, for five points, fingers on buzzers, born in 1913, US politician. <laughs> yes, that's Coleraine Allen. Um, George Bush. No. <laughs> yes, Ryan. Jimmy Carter. No. It's worth a guess, plenty of US politicians to choose from. For four points, born in California, he qualified. Yes, that's Coleraine Thomas K. Richard Nixon. Well done for four yes. points. <laughs> Size of relief all round there. We now look at the scoreboards. It's very close. Coleraine Academical Institution, 18, but St. Patrick's Grammar School have gone into the lead with 19. Four is called first two letters because the answers all begin with the same first two letters. There's two points for a correct answer and ten questions in all. So teams, your first two letters are H I Hi. H I. Fingers on the buzzers, please. The branch of biology dealing with the study of tissue. Yes, that's Arma and Michael. Histology? No. Yes, uh, Coleraine Thomas. Histology. Well done, yes. Very close, Michael. Second largest island of the West Indies. Yes, that's Hispaniola. Arma and Ryan. Hispaniola. Correct. 
American Indian. Send me, send me, yes, that's uh, Coleraine Thomas M. No, it's gone, sorry. I give uh, Ryan. Hi, what's up? Correct. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Philip, I'll not ask you for an answer. The common name of about 300 species of herbs, shrubs and trees within the Mallow family. Yes, Arma Michael. Hickory? No. Coleraine? No. Hibiscus. New Zealand-born explorer who reached... Yes, that's uh, Coleraine Allen. Edmund Hillary. Correct. English administrator and educator best known as the originator of the postage system. Yes, Hill. Armar Ryan. Hill. Correct. Residential district of North London, in whose cemetery Faraday and Karl Marx are buried. Yes, Armar Peter. Highgate. Correct. North American timber and nut producing tree. Yes, Armar Peter. Hickory. That's Hickory. The state of greatly reduced metabolic activity and lowered. Yes, that's Coleraine Thomas K. Hibernation. Correct. And finally, in this round, ancient Greek stadium for horse racing. Yes, Armar Ryan. Bedroom. Correct. Also a nightclub in London. We'll look at the scores at the end of round four to see that Coleraine Academical Institution of 24, St. Patrick's Grammar School Armagh, increased their lead to 31. <laughs> Another very exciting semi-final indeed. So join us again for part two. If you want to spend the summer by your own private pool, Argus takes care of it. Elsie. Alfred. A token. My everlasting devotion and pulsating passion. Hey, oh. Magic moment. There are masses of magic moments in every box of Quality Street. This has been just one of them. Fancy another? Moments. I think I do. Memories we've been sharing. My boss is a stickler for time, especially on a business trip. Expecting punctuality and finding it. Always looking for flexibility and the most frequent airline. Always demanding first-class service and getting it. Always wanting to arrive at Heathrow relaxed and ready for business. That's why she chooses Diamond Service from British Midland. For everything you need to enjoy an English summer, Argos takes care of it. Right, Richard. Final rehearsal. First, you savour the aroma. Aroma. <sighs> Lovely. Now do I do it? Not yet. Then you enjoy the rich, smooth taste. Taste. Right. <sighs> Delicious. Now... No. Then you tell them Nescafe don't make coffee for anyone else. Right. Why is that? Because Nescafe like to keep those special beans. Just for themselves. You said I could do that bit. Nescafe. Coffee at its best. I've been looking forward to that all day. <laughs> Thinking of updating your solid fuel heating? Did you know a new solid fuel fire could now cost you up to £400 less to install than oil, gas or electricity? For further information on our cheaper home heating packages and a free coal fact pack, contact your local coal advisory service showroom. If you're keen on outdoor sports... Argus takes care of it. Hello again from the Elmwood Hall in Belfast in the second semi-final of the Irish News Ulster Schools Quiz. As we head into part two, we see St. Patrick's Grammar School Armagh are in the lead. So we'll go on to round five. It's Who Am I? Once again, I'm looking for the identities of three famous people. I'll be giving five clues. The first clue is worth five points, and so on. Open to all, so fingers on the buzzers, please. For five points, born in 1850, died in 1894, poet, novelist, and essayist. 
Coleraine Thomas K. Pooh. No. Arma. Yes, Michael. Lamb. No. For four points. Due to ill health, he abandoned engineering. Yes, that's Arma Ryan. Stevenson. Correct. Robert Louis Stevenson for four points. <laughs> Next one. Fingers on buzzers. Five points. Born in 1861, died in 1930, explorer and politician. Yes, Coleraine Thomas K. Shackleton. No, for four points. Led the first crossing of the Greenland ice cap in... Yes, that's Coleraine Allen. Nansen. Correct. Friedhof Nansen for four points. Well done. <laughs> this is the last one in this round. Fingers on the buzzers, worth five points. Born in 1895, died in 1973. US film producer and director. Yes, that's Armagh Connell. Zeffirelli. No. Yes, Coleraine Thomas. Louis B. Mayer. No, worth guesses though all the time. For four points, the youngest child of Irish immigrants. His real name was Sean Aloysius Fearon. Yes, that's Armagh Ryan. Orson Welles. No. Coleraine Allen. Alfred Hitchcock. No. Three points. Between 1917 and 1965, he made 110 films. The vast majority of them were westerns. Yes, Coleraine Thomas M. John Ford. Well done for three points. <laughs> That's narrowed the scores up slightly. Coleraine Academical Institution have 31. St. Patrick's Grammar School, Armagh, 35. <laughs> round six is another first two letters round. The first two letters of the answers all begin with the same t first two letters. So we'll be uh, asking ten questions. There are two <coughs> points for a correct answer. And the first two letters in this round are J-O. J-O, Joe. Fingers on buzzers for two points. American-born Irishman who... Yes, that's Coleraine Allen. James Joyce. Yes. No, Pamela, sorry. Lord Haw Haw, of course, was William Joyce. We'll carry on. The next one. No. English physicist who established the first law of thermodynamics and whose honour the unit of energy has been named. Yes, that's Arma Peter. Jill. Correct. The supreme authority in control of horse racing and breeding. Yes, that's Coleraine Thomas K. Jockey's Club. Correct. The name of an Arab kingdom. And yes, that's Arma Peter. Jordan. Correct. The profession of gathering, writing and editing the news. Yes, Coleraine Thomas M. Journalism. Correct. Location in Cheshire of the University of Manchester's radio telescope. Yes, that's Coleraine Philip. Jodrell. Correct. 20th century British painter, muralist and printmaker, best known for his portraits. Yes, Arma Connell. Johnson. No. Coleraine Thomas M. Jones. No, John. <laughs> in medieval Western Europe, mock battle between two horsemen. Uh, Coleraine Thomas K. Joist. Correct. 17th century English dramatist. Yes, that's Armagh Peter. Johnson. Correct. And finally in this round, early 20th century US pianist and composer of ragtime music, and Coleraine Thomas K. Joplin. Correct. Well done. That's the end of that round. <laughs> and that's what I like to see for a semi-final. Coleraine Academical Institution have 41. St. Patrick's Grammar School, Armagh, have 41. <laughs> Round seven is called Making Progress. I'll be asking a starter question, which is worth two points. Then whichever team gets that right has a choice of topics. They have to answer five questions on that topic in the space of 60 seconds. The first question will be worth one point and so on. So teams, if you'd like to put your fingers on the buzzers and get ready for your starter question, which song brought Cliff Richard his first number one in July 1959 and his 11th in March 1986? Yes, Arma Connell. Levendor. Correct, with the young ones with the, in March 86. Your choice of topics. Great explorers, famous women, the USSR and the USA. And words. Words, please. Words, certainly. Once again, if you're unsure of a question, you may pass, and if time allows, we can go back to that question. Start the clock for one point. What name is given to the scientific study of the eye? Optics. No. no. Ophthalmology. Of what is toxophobia a fear? Poisons. Correct. For two points. 
For three points, about whom would a hagiographer write? Pass. For four points, what name is given to a parchment from which old writing has been erased to make room for new writing? Pass. For five points, which word derived originally from the Greek means that branch of logic which teaches the rules and modes of reasoning or arguing? Rhetoric. No, dialectic. We'll go back to your three-pointer. About whom would a hagiographer write? A king. Saints. And for four points, what name is given to a parchment from which old writing has been erased to make room for new? And we've run out of time. The answer to that was a palimpsest. Now, Coleraine, you have the choice of great explorers, famous women, the USSR or the USA. USA. The USA. If you're unsure of a question, you may pass and come back to that if we have time. So let's start the clock. One point. Which state takes its name from the Aleutian word meaning great land? Alaska. Correct. For two points. Lake Tahoe is on the borders of California and which other state? Utah. No, Nevada. For three points. How many states formed the Confederacy during the US Civil War? Eleven. Correct. For four points. On which major river are the cities of Trenton and Philadelphia? Pass. And for five points, Alaska has the largest land area and the smallest population of the 50 states. Which state, the ninth largest, has the smallest population of the 48 mainland states? Montana? No, Wyoming. Go back to your four-pointer. On which major river are the cities of Trenton and Philadelphia? James? No, Delaware. Um, what did Delaware boys? Equal again, boys. <laughs> so let's look at the scoreboards at the end of round seven. Very exciting. Coleraine Academical Institution, 45. St. Patrick's Grammar School, Armagh, 45. <laughs> this is almost too much for me to bear, and I'm only asking the questions. We're into the final round. It's round eight. It's open to everybody. The fingers are on the buzzers. They will be twitching. <laughs> because each question is worth two points, and I simply keep going until I hear the gong. So, gentlemen, if you're ready, fingers on the buzzers. The island of Hoi is in which British group of islands? <coughs> yes, Coleraine, Thomas K. Orkney. Correct. Which river flows northwards from Lake Victoria into the Mediterranean? Coleraine, Allen. Nile. Correct. What is a catch? <coughs> Coleraine, Thomas K. It's a sailing ship. Correct. What is the name of the literary puppet created by Carlo Collodi? <coughs> yes, Armagh Connell. Pinocchio. Correct. What are painted ladies and bath whites? Coleraine Thomas K. Butterflies. Correct. Which wading bird was sacred to the ancient Egyptians? Coleraine Thomas K. Ibis. Correct. What was the des designation of Sir Clive Sinclair's battery powered? Yes, Armar Peter. C5. Correct. In which European country did Ulrich Zwinga Zwingli lead the Reformation? Yes, Coleraine Thomas K. Austria. No. Armar Michael. Germany. No, Switzerland. Of which country is Ulan Bator the capital? <laughs> yes, Armar Peter. Mongolia. Mongolia. Correct. Who was the first player to win the Wimbledon's men's singles titles? Yes, Coleraine Thomas K. Bjorn Borg. No, full question <laughs> to Armagh. Who was the first player to win the Wimbledon's men's singles title as an unseeded player? Yes, Connell. Boris Becker. Correct. Which river forms part of the US-Mexico border? And that's Armagh Peter. Rio Grande. Correct. Of which Dickens novel is Sidney Carton the hero? Armagh Peter. Tale of Two Cities. Correct. What was the name of the craft in which Thor Heyerdahl crossed the Pacific? Yes, uh, that's Coleraine Thomas K. Contiki. Correct. Which is the highest volcano in Europe? Coleraine Thomas M. Mount Etna. Correct. Which Italian university is the oldest in... Yes, that's Coleraine Thomas K. Florence. No, I'll give the whole question to Armagh. Which Italian university is the oldest in Europe? And that's Peter. Rome. No, it's worth a guess. Pavia. What is the heaviest and longest of all snakes? Coleraine Thomas M. The anaconda. Correct. What would a triscodecaphobe fear? Yes, the Coleraine number, Thomas M. The number 13. Correct. What, which type of snake did Cleopatra allegedly? Coleraine Thomas K. Asp. Correct. The name of which group of painters is derived from the title of a painting exhibited? Coleraine Thomas M. Impressionists. Correct. What is the meaning of the Russian word pravda? Armar Peter. Um, truth. Correct. What was the Greek god with horns, a beard, a tail, and... Yes, Coleraine Thomas K. Pan. Correct. 
with U which U.S. president is portrayed on the $5 note? Coleraine, Thomas K. Grant? No. Amar, Connell. Washington? No, Lincoln. What name is given to the marshy area of the Rhone Delta? Coleraine, Philip. The Camargue? Correct. The Fennec is the smallest of which type? Yes, Coleraine, Philip. Uh, West German currency, the Deutsche Bank. No, Mark. full question to Armagh. The Fennec is the smallest of which type of creature? That's Ryan. <laughs> Duck. No, Fox. Which American-based religious organization was founded? Yes, Coleraine, Thomas K. Mormons. No, full question to Armagh. Which American-based religious organization was founded by Charles Taze Russell? Peter. Quakers. No, Jehovah's Witnesses. Gestas and Dismas were executed in the company of which other person? Almost 2,000. Yes, Coleraine Thomas M. Christ. Yes. Which famous ship was sunk off Southern Ireland on May? Yes, Coleraine Thomas M. The Bismarck. No, full question, Armagh. Which famous ship was sunk off Southern Ireland on May 7th, 1915? Peter. Lusitana. Correct. What is the title of Prokofiev's musical tale for children? Coleraine Thomas M. Peter and the Wolf. Correct. Great. The Pork Strait separates which island from India? Yes, Coleraine Thomas M. Sri Lanka. Correct. <laughs> oh, that was very, very exciting. But the final scores, St. Patrick's Grammar School Armagh have 61 points. Coleraine Academical Institution have 77. Another very exciting semi-final. Coleraine Academical Institution go through to the final next week. They meet Larne Grammar School. So, who will be the 1990 Irish News Ulster Schools Quiz Champions? Find out next Saturday at half past twelve.